So you might be wondering why I'm wearing this Milwaukee jacket indoors. And I'm wearing it because I'm making a video, as the title suggests, showing us just how long the batteries or various Milwaukee batteries last uh, with this jacket. I was very curious. I have multiple different batteries. I have a lot of different Milwaukee tools out there. Uh, and I've been using different models with the jacket. And my mind was playing tricks on me with the 18 volt adapter. So I was just wondering, is it really lasting as long as it should? Uh, so many different questions. Uh, and we'll be answering a lot of those today in this video. So I've seen the Milwaukee heated jacket and heated apparel line in the past years and I never really got around to purchasing it. This year I went out and I obviously got the heated jacket and I also got the Milwaukee heated hoodie. And the hoodie is great obviously, as you can see on the back here, it's got a hood. It's an awesome hoodie, the jacket's great as well. The jacket has two zones on it for heating, it has the heated jacket zone and then it has another button for the pockets. The heated hoodie has one zone on it. Uh, and you activate it by hitting the button here, and as you can see, that turned red. If I click it again, it'll turn white, medium. If I click it again, it'll turn low, blue. And then to turn it off, you hold down the button, which I'm going to do because I'm indoors and it's warm in here. So now that you've seen the heated jacket and the heated sweatshirt, let's talk about some general questions. The first question I get when I'm wearing Milwaukee heated gear outdoors is uh, obviously is it warm? I've literally taken my Milwaukee heated jacket out skiing in wet weather and wore it the entire time and I kept the heat like on medium the whole time and it was getting covered in snow, uh, very wet conditions and it kept me warm the whole time. Here's another fun question. Why is there an American flag on my heated jacket which I was wearing before? Uh, no, that's not a special edition. It didn't come that way. Uh, I went out and I purchased an American flag iron on patch and ironed it on there just because I'm a patriotic guy. Uh, and I think it looks nice. It's black and white, kind of matches the jacket, so it looks good. The next most common question I get is how long does the battery last? And that's why we're here, obviously, right? Uh, but that's not such a simple question. There's a lot of variables involved. There's 12 volt batteries, there's 18 volt batteries using Milwaukee's adapter to convert the 18 volts into 12 volts, which we'll talk a little bit more about later. There's multiple power settings, high, medium, and low. There's more than one zone, right? You know, on the jacket, you've got the jacket zone and you've got the pocket zone. What if you have just the jacket on? What if you have just the pockets on? What if you have both zones running the whole time? So that's a complex question, and that's why I decided to make this video. I think that's enough Q&A for now. Uh, in general, the jacket and the heated sweatshirt are outstanding. Uh, they're very comfortable. They last a long time. I really don't have anything negative to say about them. So let's move on to our contestants in this video. The six different batteries we'll be testing. We have the 12 volt, one amp hour battery. This is the battery that comes with the sweatshirt. To use the 12 volt batteries, they connect into one of these power sources by Milwaukee. Uh, the power source has an indicator here, this one's dead, four bars is full. You can charge the power source by using a micro USB cable uh, and your sweatshirt plugs in here. Next up, we have the two amp battery, 12 volts. This is the battery that comes with the heated jacket. So exactly the same physical size, two amps instead of one amp. We have the 12 volt, six amp hour battery. You can see it's kind of like a hybrid. It's got the 12 volt on top and what looks like an 18 volt on bottom, but it's a 12 volt battery. And it snaps into the power source just like those other batteries do. Okay, uh, It actually is an interesting battery because when you have it in your jacket or sweatshirt horizontally, it conforms to your body. It's not as awkward as it looks. For battery number four, we have our first 18 volt battery. It's a two amp hour battery. Uh, it's the slim version. And to use any of your 18 volt batteries, you're going to need this adapter by Milwaukee. It slides over the top. It gives you a port to plug in your heated jacket or sweatshirt, an on off switch, and a USB port to charge any USB devices. Battery number five, we have our five amp hour 18 volt battery. This is the battery that comes with most power tools when it comes together as a package. And last, but definitely not least, we have this monster, the 12 amp hour HD 18 volt battery. This battery lasts a very, very long time in heated jackets. So what I did was I took my heated jacket, which has two zones, right? The jacket and the pockets, attached each of the six batteries, set both zones to high, started a stopwatch, 
and recorded time-lapse video to figure out exactly how long both zones would last with each battery. Then I did that same test on the jacket with only one zone, the jacket zone. Then I did the same test on medium and low, single zone on the jacket, recorded all the data. Using that test information, I was able to extrapolate the longevity of each battery on both single zone and both zones in addition to high, medium, and low data. So we can tell almost exactly how long the battery will last under those conditions uh, for each model of the Milwaukee battery in their heated jackets. That's enough on the parameters of the test. Let's move on to actually looking at the time-lapse footage we took uh, of each of the six batteries in this test. Going into this test, I had a few technical questions. One of them was whether or not the 18-volt battery with the 12-volt adapter would scale with the 12-volt batteries, because when you step down 18 volts to 12 volts, you actually lose some energy. And to answer the question, I didn't see any difference. So they scale in almost a perfect line, the 12-volt batteries and the 18-volt batteries. It's just a matter of how many amp hours are in the battery. Okay, let's move on and take a look at the chart. First of all, this chart is for single zone. So single zone in this case means just the jacket, not just the pockets, right? And as you can see in the chart, we have low, medium, and high for each of the six batteries tested in this video. Uh, and we've got some very interesting results from the smallest battery all the way up to the 18 volt, 12 amp uh, monster battery, right? Which lasts almost 80 hours uh, on the low setting. So pretty interesting. So there you have it for your single zone numbers, which also roughly apply to the sweatshirt, which has a single zone as well. Now let's take a look at when both zones are running. Here we have the same chart with both zones illustrated in the same fashion as our previous chart. After looking at both of these charts, you might have noticed something. It's another interesting fact I was able to extrapolate from all this battery testing data. There's not a huge difference in the longevity of the battery on the high and the medium setting. There is, however, a substantial difference between the low setting and the medium and high. In many cases, the low setting lasts twice as long as the high setting. So we're talking double the length of time your jacket will last if you're running on low versus running on high. The good news is, very rarely do I find myself running this jacket on high for any extended period of time. If you're out there being active, you're in construction, or you're moving around, you're going to find yourself using the low setting uh, quite often. The only time I find myself using the high setting is if I'm stationary. So if you're sitting on a chairlift skiing, or you're sitting in a tree stand hunting, uh, and you're not moving around to keep yourself warm, uh, then you're going to use the high setting. But if you're, if you're active, low is fine. Okay, so hopefully you found the data presented in this video useful. I know I found it very interesting. Just so you know, the links to all of the batteries and adapters tested in this video are in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like below. If you love the video and you found the data interesting, please consider subscribing. It really helps us out and we're looking to grow this channel. We've got lots more content coming up from Mods and Projects, so stay tuned.